Rosenstark with MIDI Designer and in this video I'm going to be showing A, B controls in MIDI Designer and also crossfader overlap. Uh, these both are some of the oldest features in MIDI Designer and uh, I think they're pretty useful and I'm curious to know what you think. So uh, let's go over how they work. So first let me show you what my setup looks like. Um, I've got two tracks. One I'm calling a techno track. Well, Ableton calls it a techno track. And the other is a house track. Okay, and they've both got uh, two delays on them, which I've put uh, in return tracks via send, so the delays sound like this. So it's that uh, cutover that I'm actually uh, going to want to get smoother where I actually move from the A track to the B track and I want them to have the same effects uh, at the same levels. So that's what the A and B will do. First I'm going to set up a crossfader and this is completely outside of Ableton Live. So this is not something uh, that your DAW needs to do. This is something that will do in MIDI Designer. So I've got this crossfader. This doesn't do anything right now. And what I want it to do is on this side, I want it to bring this all the way up to its max. And on this side, I want this to bring up, this to come up all the way to its max. So what I'm going to do is, there's a series of uh, steps here. Uh, they look like this, basically. First, I take this crossfader and I make it a super control. So relationship, super control, sub controls. I'm going to the first one and I'm going to the second one. So the techno and the house tracks are there. They're both sub controls. So this creates this simple type of relationship in which, okay, so that's fine, but what I want to do is I want to set up a crossfader. So I go into the first one, and the first one's actually going to be inverted from now on. Now I could put an interceding control, but for now I'm just going to do it this way. So I go into relationships, options as sub, first I invert it, okay, and then I'm going to bring its crossfader overlap up to uh, 0.5, which means that at 0.5 it hits its max or hits its min. In this case, it's inverted, so it'll hit its min. Okay, so and then on this one, I'm going to its options as sub, and this one also has a crossfader overlap of 0.5, so that means at the halfway point it will hit its maximum. So basically, now. Okay, so that's set up and now I want to show how the A and B controls work and it's actually pretty simple to set up and hopefully uh, it will open the door for some interesting things for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into design mode and I'm going to take this send and I'm going to go into relationships and its B control is going to be the other send. So I have to find it here by name, okay, it'll bounce when it comes up. So if I did pitch, that would bounce. Send bounces. Okay, I'm going to hit the green button so we get sticky here. And I'm going to do apply now. Uh, time is going to go to time as it's B. Shake so we know that it's right. Apply now. Feedback is going to feedback. Apply now. And pitch is going to pitch. Apply now. So, uh, now we get out of design mode and now we're going to go into config and right now this config uh, window would need to be up to get A to snap to B. So what it does very simply is I set up the time to whatever I want, the feedback and the pitch to whatever I want and I hit B, A to B and the A controls will automatically be copied to the B control. So the A values are copied to the B values. So let's see how that works uh, in practice. I'm just going to uh, start everything. Uh, I'm going to yeah, start everything there. Uh, go A to B. And we're going to start in the same place. So copying A to B.
Okay, so that was A and B controls in MIDI Designer. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, please get in touch uh, via mididesigner.com forward slash contact. And thanks for checking out MIDI Designer.